Hello, everybody. Welcome back to House of Games. It is Tuesday. I remain Richard Osman, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. I'm joined by four famous faces. What a show we had yesterday. What a finish. It was super, super close. We will get to that in a moment. Don't forget, somebody has got their eyes on this prize right here. We'll give that away on Friday. Let's deal with Tuesday first, shall we? Our players are Tucson Douglas, Cherie Murphy, Sean Williams, and Mark Foster. Mark, I've got to say, I have this cliche about sports people that they always, they, they turn it on at the last second, and all the way through, I thought, he's not going to win it. Right at the last minute, you did. You just, that extra bit of pace, Which and you won by a point. Anyone from the swimming world will tell you that doesn't normally happen. I go out hard, and then I fade. But then maybe <laughs> Monday, I went hard, and now I fade the rest of the week. It's a marathon, not a sprint, this show. Oh, yeah, that's true. Perhaps we've seen the best of Mark Foster. But congrats on your win yesterday. Sean, just one point off oh, the lead yesterday. Oh, a worthy winner, and, really. And, and you lost a point in the very first question of Answer Smash because it's the first time we'd ever played it. Yes, I mean, playing it at home, one thing. Yeah. Playing it in here, yeah. I mean, terrifying. You just sort of blurt something out and then think, too late to pull it you back. Could, hold on a minute, that's going out on television. I know. <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? Uh, Tucson, you were pretty close in the in the end as well, just two points off. Yeah. Um, you got a win in you this week? I feel like, you know, uh, there might be something cooking. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I think there's something cooking, for sure. <laughs> Should we take a look at the weekly leaderboard? Mark, of course, is at the top there, but um, it's meaningless on a Tuesday, to be honest, that weekly leaderboard, so let's not worry about it. Cherie, should we take a look at today's prizes? Yes. If you were to win today, you'd take one of these. There is the hot water bottle, the onesie, the decanter, the playing cards, and the cycle helmet. What do you fancy? Oh, I think I'd go for the onesie. Onesie, yeah. nice, nice like price. Like relaxing around the house. Yeah, you know, beautiful. Sean? I've got my eyes on that decanter. It's nice, the decanter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what's in it? What's in it? Mm -hmm. You do not want to know. OK. <laughs> Mark, what would you go for? Uh, I play a lot of cards, so probably the playing cards. Uh, Tucson, what would you go for? Well, my dad's a big fan of uh, playing cards, so I think I'll go for the helmet. <laughs> there we go, perfect. <laughs> perfect, go for the sock helmet. Um, listen, great show yesterday, really, really close, very, very competitive. Should we do it again? Yeah. OK, yeah. our first round today is... The answers in the question. Tucson, I'm going to start with you. I will ask you a question on a particular category, which is... Sports, so the answer will be a sport, but in the question there will be some words in capitals and the answer will also be an anagram of those. OK, Good. so you'll have two ways of working out the answer. Here's your first one. Gravity is king when you're hurtling down a snowy mountain in this sport. Skiing? Skiing. Oh, it feels like quite a gentle start, doesn't it? <laughs> it does feel like it now. Well done. Mm -hmm. one for you, a sport for you. There's no cheat list for events in this sport. You just have to run hard, jump hard, or throw hard. Oh. Um, athletics. That's absolutely right. <laughs> well done, Cherie. Nicely done. <laughs> Sean, a sport for you. A person who is very skilled at this discipline could pierce a cherry from a long way away. Archery? Archery, yeah. I think it is, yeah. Actually, it oh, almost spells archery almost anyway. Spelled, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. And I was thinking, javelin? Exactly. <laughs> Mark, I have a sport for you. Do you think young Kimi Raikkonen was a loafer? Um, no. He was busy training to be a champion in this fast paced sport. Kimi Raikkonen does Formula One. Formula One? Loafer Umno, Formula One. Well done, Mark. We are four from four. We go back to you, Tucson, with a different category. This time it's children's books. Which children's book is uh, hidden somewhere in here? A clever girl with neglectful parents ends up living happily at a mild-mannered teacher's home. Mm. And there are a lot of children's books which feature clever girls, but it's the, the mild-mannered teacher's homes make me think. Matilda? Matilda? It is Matilda. Also, those letters must make you think of Matilda yeah, as well. Yeah. Yeah. That as well, yeah. Uh, Cherie, Bye. a children's book for you. If you encounter a tiny person from this children's book, there's no need to show terror. Be calm, as they are harmless. Snow White? 
No. It's not. I can throw it open. Sean. Is it the borrowers? The borrowers we were looking for. The borrowers. <laughs> A point to Sean. And Sean, it's your question. It looks like this. No, you nit. That cheetah is actually just a domestic feline wearing some natty headwear. Um. Uh. Hmm. Oh. It's not top out? cap. I got it. Have you got it? Yeah. Uh. Should we time you out, Sean? Yes. Yeah. Anyone fancy it? Cherie. Is it the cat in the hat? It's the cat in the hat. Oh, well done. It is the cat in the hat. Yeah. It's so annoying when you see it after, because, of course, a feline in natty headwear, you think, yeah, well played, Siri, got that point back well that you lost. Very well played. Mark, we finish with you. A children's book. A boy called Max is sent to his room for misbehaving. While withdrawing here, he lets his imagination run riot. I'm not a reader. Um... Should we time you out? Yeah, time me out. Not time me out. Anybody? I'm so ready to steal. Toussaint. <laughs> uh, where the wild things are. It is exactly the right answer, my Toussaint. Favorite. Well done. Yeah. It's a great book, isn't Such it? Such a wonderful book. <laughs> where the wild things are by Morris Sendak. That's the end of that first round. Let's take a look at our leaderboard. Everybody off the mark. This is winner, Mark, with one point. Cherie and Sean, you have two points each. Toussaint is our leader with three points. Well done. Well done. Children's books, that's my level. Yeah. <laughs> Holding up the standard for the stand-ups, Tucson, finally. Well done. Our pairs game today is going to be... You spell terrible. Uh, as yesterday, Mark, you get to choose your partner. Who would you like to play with? Um, I think we had a good connection yesterday, so I'm yeah. going to stay with Sean. So I'm going to stay with Thank Sean. Mm -hmm. uh, Cherie and Tucson, you are a team. Um, fingers on buzzers, everyone. I will ask you a series of questions. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, your partner must then spell that answer oh, in order for you to score a point. <laughs> OK? Oh, I better guess it. Worst speller ever. Here's your first question, fingers on buzzers. What word precedes converter in the alliterative name for the car engine device that turns toxic emissions into less harmful ones? <laughs> yes, that is Mark. Catalytic. Catalytic is correct. That's the sportsman's. Like, like saying it really slowly, almost spelling it. <laughs> um, Sean, for a point for your pair, could you spell catalytic? C A T A L Y T I C. Point to Mark and Sean. Well played. Ooh, that's awesome. Perfectly done. Well done. I would have put an I instead of the Y. I would have been. I know. I was yeah, looking at it thinking, done. that, yeah. that yeah. Looks, it looks wrong, though, doesn't it, when it's spelt out like that? Very nicely played. Very Next well played. one. What is the first name of the actor who played Monica Geller in the sitcom Friends? Oh, uh... Yes, Sean. Courtney. Courtney is the answer we were looking for. Yep. Yeah. Mark, for a point, can you spell Courtney? C. O U R T Here we go. N It's incorrect. Let's take a look. Oh. E N E Y. Whoa. There's a lot going on in the yeah. second half of that name, it was. isn't there? <laughs> yeah, a lot. <laughs> yeah. Well done if you got that at home. Um, next question. Which island country in the Indian Ocean was home to the dodo before it became extinct? Yes, that is Tucson. Madagascar? The, the second you buzzed in, she was just like, <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I'm so oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, I have great news. Oh. It's I'm incorrect. Wrong. Oh, <laughs> yes! <laughs> I've been happy about a wrong answer. I'm sorry. <laughs> the relief. Oh, no, it is nice. not Madagascar. Okay. Anyone on the other team want to buzz in? Uh, that is Sean. Is it Galapagos? It is incorrect as well. Oh. Uh, I was going to say Galapagos anyway, so... You okay? You'll be delighted to hear that none of you have had to spell Mauritius. Oh, Ooh. OK. Ooh. Lo yeah, a lot of U's in Mauritius. Yeah, there's, an awful, there's, a, there's a lot yeah. of vowels in Mauritius. Yeah. Next question. Eggs Benedict is typically served with what sauce made with egg yolks, butter and lemon juice? That is Sean. Hollandaise. 
Hollandaise is correct. Mark, for a point, could you spell Hollandaise, please? I was hoping I'd get the question right. H O L L A N D A I S E. Well played, Mark. Nicely done. Holland Days. Next question. What is the surname of the singer and former neighbour star Natalie, who won the 2022 series of The Masked Singer UK, disguised as a panda? <laughs> yes, Sean. Oh, this is a horrible yeah, one. Yeah, it is. Imbruglia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, in Brulia. In Brulia. Yeah. Uh, Mark, can you spell that, please? <laughs> it's very, very handily pronounced by Shana. Thank actually. you. I M B R U G L I A Mark Foster, yes! how about that? Oh, that was so tough. You know what I thought was really impressive there is how, how he remembered that silent G. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. Well done. Brilliant team play by the both of you. <laughs> well well played, Mark. Lovely end to the round. Yeah. Let's take a look at our leaderboard, shall we? <laughs> uh, Cherie with two, Toussaint with three. Mark with four, Sean Williams is our leader with five points. Wow, thank you. About that. Three points between the lot of them. Let's play our next round. It is going to be... Bits of Hits. If you take your tablets out, please. What I'm going to do, I'm going to play you one second of a song. If you think you recognise it, please write down the title of that song on your tablets, OK? OK. If you don't, I will play you two seconds of the same song. Again, if you recognise it, write down the name. If not, I will play you three seconds. And whoever gets the correct answer in the shortest time will score a point. So the first thing we'll do is play one second of a song. If you think you know it, write down an answer. Here is your one second. Wow. Do you want to hear it again? Anyone fancy it? It's not a lot, is it, one second? Not a lot. Mm. No. <laughs> Anyone fancy an answer or should we, should we move on to two seconds for all of us? What do you think? Two seconds? Yeah. Two, yes. OK, seconds. let's move on to two seconds. Same song. <sighs> Anybody? Oh, Mark's going for it. And if you write it down, you can't change it, so you're, you are committed the second you write it down. Have you gone for it at home on that one? Do you want to hear it again, anyone? The two seconds? Yes, please. Yeah, might as yep. well. Should we move on to three seconds and hope Mark's got it wrong? Yeah. <laughs> OK, three seconds of the same song. Sounds like this. That feels easier. Yeah. Just look and see if Mark looks confident. We'll find out in a moment. <laughs> Doesn't look that confident. Um, have you got that one at home? Is everybody in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. OK, we'll reveal the answers of the, of the three seconders first, shall we? Tucson, you said? Uh, Madonna, Like a Virgin. Like a Virgin by Madonna. Cherie, you're saying? Like a Virgin. Like a Virgin. Sean, you're saying? Same. Like a Virgin. I mean, surely it is. But we have one person who committed after two seconds. Oh! Like a Virgin. Well, well played, Mark. You yeah. get yourself points. That was well done, wasn't it? Let's, yeah. hear, let's hear the song. Like a of course it is. Well played. Nicely done. Mark went early and it paid off. Shall we hear one second of our next song? Yes. I think I know that one. Do you? Yeah. I don't have anything to write it down on. Oh, damn. I mean, you can borrow mine. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take your answer. <laughs> I'm going to write it down on my phone at the end. Okay. I'm going to pass it to you, Tucson. There you go. That's my answer. Shall we hear two seconds? Yes, please. <laughs> You've got this, haven't you? Yeah, very happy. Tucson is going in. Cherie is going in. 
Sean and Mark? No. Mm -hmm. Staying out. What do you think at home on that one? Do you want to hear the two seconds again? Sean and Mark, or should oh, we yeah. go to three okay. seconds? That's your two seconds. Should we go three seconds? Yes. It's not, if it's not, if you're not getting it for three. Not getting it. These two have got not it. Not getting it. I know, you have, haven't you? Straight away. I think it's them. OK, everyone is in. Mark and Sean, you went on three seconds. What have you said, Sean? I have no idea. Is it Spice Girls? No, it sounded... So what's the name? I little, education. little Education, just cos It that's... is not Spice Girls, but we'll find out if it is Little Education. Mark? Uh, I thought it was Girls Aloud, but I went motivation. I don't know what the song was called. I didn't focus it in the right band. Okay. Well, I can tell you you're both incorrect. Yeah. Mm. Both incorrect. Yes, but after two seconds, Tucson, you said? I said Love Machine. I also thought it was Girls Aloud. Love I Machine. I think it's called Love Machine. Girls but... Aloud. Oh. Cherie, what do you Girls think? Girls Aloud, Love Machine, too. Mm. Is that correct? Let's have a listen. <laughs> well done. A point to both oh, of you. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Very good. Well done, Tucson. I just want you to. Oh, I know you're a big I Love Machine fan. I know you're a big Girls Aloud fan, yeah. Love Machine, That's there you go. It's my favourite Girls Aloud song, Cherie. Oh, is it? Yeah, I <laughs> love a bit of Love Machine. It's a good song. Um, well done if you got that at home. A point to Tucson, a point to Cherie there. Should we do another one? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. OK, one second of our next song sounds like this. I think, I, I think this oh, is... Oh, I know the song, know the song but I can't yeah. think of it. I've just been having to go through in my head yeah. until I got to the chorus. Oh, it's, it's sort of in the second so half of the chorus, yep. the title. You got it? Sean's gone in one second. Yes. Mark, Mark's going in one second as well. Mark and Sean, you are locked in. Um, Cherie and Toussaint, should we hear two seconds? Yes, please. Oh, that's not helpful, though. That's no, that's not. not. I'm trying to think. The song, the song that's in my head, I'm thinking, is that from, is that, from that? Yes, I don't Maybe it too. is, maybe it is. Shall we go straight on to three? Yes, please. OK, here's a three-seconder. Cheer up, sleepy Jean. Well, that's what I'm writing. <laughs> Everybody in? So, Tucson and Cherie, you went in three seconds. Tucson, you said... I recognise the song, but I just don't know what it's called, so I just put Sleepy Jean. Sleepy Jean, it's in the lyrics, isn't it, uh, Cherie? I put Daydream Believer. Mm. Mm, don't think Monkeys. that's right, though. We'll find out, I guess. Sean, you went in one second. Daydream that's Believer. What I Ooh. Daydream Mark. Believer. I knew it wasn't right when I heard the second clip, because I went Sweet Caroline. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah, I could see, I could see that. Let's have a listen. Is it Daydream Believer? Daydream. It is yeah, Daydream well Believer. Done. Well done. Well but were you going through nice. the whole track before you got to Daydream yeah. Believer? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it takes so long and it's not even the first bit of the chorus. No. <laughs> Sean, well done, point to you. you. That's the end of that round. Tablets away, please, well everybody. Done. Sharon points out very nicely in that round, I think. Well done at home if you've got a few of those in a second. Two rounds to go on Tuesday's House of Games and there is three Ooh. points between the lot of you. Cherie with three, Tucson with four, and Mark with five, Sean with six. Well done. <laughs> Round four today is... Flamingo, Pot Plant, Middle March. This is one of our new rounds. What I'm going to do, I'm going to read you out a series of questions. Do you know that old game you used to play? I went to market and I bought some eggs. Oh, yeah. I went to market and I bought some eggs and an inner tube. I went to market. It's that, but for answers. So every time you buzz in and give an answer, you must give all the other answers in the round first. Right. OK? okay. Oh, in gosh. order. So here is your Memory. first question. This one's the easy one. You don't have to remember anything. The Gravely Hill Interchange on the M6 is better known by what nickname? That is Mark. Spaghetti Junction. Spaghetti Junction. <laughs> Correct. It is Spaghetti Junction. So from here on in, everything has to start with Spaghetti Junction. <laughs> Here's your next one. Which 1998 Guy Ritchie film was the cinematic debut for both Jason Statham and Vinnie Jones? Yes, Sean. Is it Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels? No. 
Yes, Cherie. <laughs> Spaghetti Junction, lock, stock, oh. and two smoking yeah, barrels. Exactly that. <laughs> I forgot the rule. <laughs> I, 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 I was, when you said no, I was like, no, oh, she's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I immediately <laughs> forgot the rule. Yeah. Spaghetti Junction, lock, stock, and two smoking barrels. Oh, Next yes. question. <laughs> the rugby union team that finishes last in the Six Nations is described as winning the wooden what? <laughs> yes, Toussaint. Spaghetti Junction, lock, stock, and two smoking barrels, and spoon? Yep, absolutely. Okay. Spoon is the answer we're looking for there. Next question. Which musical instrument is the smallest in the string section of a symphony orchestra? <laughs> yes, Sean. I have gone too soon. Viola? <laughs> Why are you laughing? We're having a lot of trouble with this round. Oh, no! Sean. I've done it again! Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I've done it again. Keep them coming, Sean. We're loving that. <laughs> Mark. Spaghetti Junction. <laughs> lock, stock and two smoking <laughs> barrels. Spoon. I know that's the right answer or not. I'm going to go for it. Viola. It's incorrect, I'm afraid. <laughs> yes, Tucson. Spaghetti Junction. <laughs> lock, stock and two smoking barrels. I don't know the answers I'm, I'm thinking about. Yeah. Spoon. And uh, violin? Violin? It's correct. Oh. Well done. Next question. <laughs> violin, the answer there. The national flag of Greece is blue, and which other colour? <laughs> yes, Sean. Okay, I'm going to try again. Yeah. <laughs> Spaghetti Junction. Lock, stock, two smoking barrels. Spoon. Violin. White. Correct. Oh. Okay, so on. Next one. Who played Mrs. Lovett in the 2007 Tim Burton film adaptation of the musical Sweeney Todd? <laughs> yes, that is Tucson. Spaghetti Junction, lock, stock, and two smoking barrels, spoon, violin, white. I was hoping it would come to me by this point. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can see her face and I know who yeah. she is. Did you time you out? Yeah, time, time me out. out. I know who she is. <laughs> Mark has won the buzzer race. Spaghetti Junction, lock, stock and two smoking barrels, spoon, violin, white, Helena Bolland Carter. It's correct. Yeah. Well done. The pain on Tucson's face. Next question. Which dessert made with bananas and toffee was invented at the Hungry Monk restaurant in East Sussex in the 1970s? <laughs> yes, Sean. Spaghetti Junction. Lock, stock and two smoking barrels. <laughs> Spoon. Violin. White. Helena Bonham Carter. Bonoffi pie. It's correct. Oh. Well done, Sean. Well done. And the big one, final question in this round. Which element on the periodic table has the chemical symbol C? <laughs> yes, Mark. Um, spaghetti Junction, lock, stock and two smoking barrels, spoon, violin, white, uh, Helena Bonham Carter, um, Bonoffi pie, and calcium. It's incorrect. Oh, yes. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <sighs> yes, Tucson. Good luck. Spaghetti Junction. <laughs> Lock, stock and two smoking barrels. Spoon. White. Helena Bonham. It's incorrect, oh, no. I'm afraid. Oh, no. Incorrect. Sean and Cherie, you fancy it? Go. Sean, good luck. Spaghetti Junction. Lock, stock, two smoking barrels, spoon, violin, white, Helena Bonham Carter, <laughs> Bonoffi pie, chlorine, chloride. Is incorrect. Oh, yeah. oh, incorrect. I think the answer we were looking for was spaghetti junction, lock, stock and two smoking barrels, spoon, violin, white, Helena Bonham Carter, Bonoffi Pie, Carbon. Oh, well done. Right. There you go. Oh, that was fun to take part. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed that.
Uh, that's the end of that round. Let's take a look at our leaderboard <laughs> going into oh, cool. Answer Smash. Here's how we're looking. Four points between everyone now. Cherie, you have four. Tucson, you have six. Mark with seven. Sean Williams stood out in the lead there with eight. Yeah. How about yeah. it? Can all happen in Answer Smash, It though. really can, can't it? We saw Mark doing very well on that last time. Tucson did well on it last time as well, actually. Shall we play it? It is, of course. Answer smash. Fingers on buzzers, please. Point for a correct answer. Point off for an incorrect answer. Here we go. Who's going to be Tuesday's champion on House of Games? Your first category is... I'm a celeb contestants. Those will be the pictures. Which 2012 Steven Soderbergh film stars Channing Tatum as a stripper? Yes, that is Tucson. Magic Mike Tyndall. Magic Mike Tyndall. It is. Magic Mike, Mike Tyndall, Magic Mike Tyndall. Next clue, next picture. In which traditional nursery rhyme does a pair of characters go up a hill to fetch a pail of water? Tucson. Jack and Jill Taylor. That's incorrect, I'm afraid. Yes, Sean. Is it Jack and Jill Scott? It is Jack and Jill Scott. Tucson loses a point, Sean gains a point. Next clue, next picture. Which song was a UK number one hit for Beyonce in 2008? Yes, Mark. If I were a boy, George. If I were a boy, George? It is. If I were a boy, boy, George. If I were a boy, George. Things getting tight at the top of this leaderboard. Next category is plants. Those will be the pictures. Which nursery rhyme character repeatedly climbs up a water spout? Yes, Sean. Incy Wincy Spider Plant? Incy Wincy Spider Plant? It oh, is, Sean. Well done. Next clue, next picture. Which 1962 UK top 20 hits by Chubby Checker is named after a rock and roll dance craze? Nobody. You got it at home. Let's take a look. The Twisteria. Oh, Twist oh, Wisteria. Yeah. Okay. Any more categories? <laughs> We're oh. done for Tuesday. Mark, you're our champion on Monday. Not today. Our champion on Tuesday is Sean. Hey. Well done, Sean. Thank you. Well done, Nicely everyone. Done. A lovely four, six, eight, ten. I like a pattern. <laughs> um, Sean, you want yourself a prize? I do. How exciting. Which of these would you like? Um, I'm going to go for the decanter. Beautiful. Sean Williams wins the House of Games decanter. Quite right, too. And let's take a look at our weekly leaderboard. Mark Ooh. and Sean tied up the top there on seven points each. Three days to go. We've got double points Friday as well. Loads of points still to play for. We've had two separate winners so far this week. Are we going to have all four of you winning at some point? Should we do it again tomorrow? Yes, yes please. Look forward to seeing all of you right here in the same place. We'll see you here as well on the House of Games. Oh, have a little smell. Yeah. I don't actually drink. <laughs> <laughs> not not yet, nice you don't. Now. Yeah, I'm not drinking that. I tell yeah. you that for nothing. <laughs>